we have a front door security system and uh, uh, it can be operated uh, it can be controlled through many different ways. Uh, one of them being uh, an IR sensor, we have a remote control system next to the cell phone there. Uh, it can also be controlled by our thumbprint here. Um, we have a, a range, we use the range finder uh, to uh, act as a motion detector when uh, when an object moves into its range, uh, it sends a voltage. At a certain threshold, it knows that the voltage is lowered enough and it uh, locks itself. Um, and also, we have it connected to a, um, a web page, so if you're somewhere else, anywhere in the world, you could see who's outside of your door and unlock it and lock it. From the web page. From the, through the web page. So. Okay, this is the uh, web page right here. It has a live video feed. Uh, it normally would be live, but uh, in order to save some money, we used an old router, which is running off an old standard speed. Uh, so speed uh, kind of limits it to being about 10 seconds behind live. But uh, basically what we have is a little bit difficult to see, but this is the video feed right here. We have a button to lock the door, a button to unlock the door, and then uh, just kind of a little label right here that lets you know if it is unlocked or unlocked. So, uh, it's going to be difficult to see that it's unlocked, but if you listen, you can hear it unlock. Okay, so it just unlocked, and you can see we open the door. And then after about five seconds, all the systems are going to reactivate, and say somebody walks up to it. Locked, light comes on, it's locked now. So it keeps people out if you don't want them there. And then there's various means to unlock it one way, like we said, through that page. Go ahead. Do it again. Like I said, this router is really Yeah, right now. Yeah, we have also another IR sensor here, simple IR mode. You know, you can uh, keep in your car or whatever, put on your visor, that way when you pull up your door, you just hit the unlock button. Or, it's already unlocked right now, so. You can, can. You can lock it through as well. Yeah, that one just did. So it should be locked now. But, you know, say you're coming home from whatever and you just. And then all the system shut down for about five seconds. So what can be changed? Oh, we also have a uh, SES export application needs to know whether the door is open or not, so we've got a push button right here on the hinge. Once it's pressed, it'll let the micro know that the door is closed and all the systems should work then. Okay, that's open. just to keep it from trying to lock. lock. When is the light? Well, that comes on when you uh, do the When it's in motion. It comes out in front of it. So it's basically, you know, the webcam can see what's going on. When the oh, web camera right, does, right. when it does sense motion, it actually sends an email alert, and it actually attaches a, a video feed that you can actually watch of who is at your front door. So that way you can get the email notification, go straight to the website, so you can see if they're still there at the front, and you can unlock or, un or lock, it can just, depending on who you want it to keep in or out. So you can access this anywhere? Yes. Right. Not right now. Uh, we don't have it going out to the internet right now because we, there's so many security hoops to jump, jump through for uh, internet, internet. Right now, it's just set up on a LAN, but it'd be easy enough just to make that accessible on the internet. So if one of y'all want to try, you can walk up, it'll walk you out, and it'll send me an email. So if y'all want to try and walk up to the door. Just walk on up. When the light comes on, that means it's locked. You can't get in. So it just locks you out. People walking by, I think we have like 200.
25 seconds, the systems will kick back on and it'll lock you back out. And, uh, so if somebody gets so a you wrong, can try your thumb print. If somebody gets a wrong print, then it's going to turn the red LED on. Saying that you don't have access to go in. Yeah, it also send out an email saying that, hey, watch out. That it doesn't do that right now, but that, it would be easy enough to add that functionality. Yeah, the way it works, that Thumbprint Reader's got two output pins, one for success and one for fail. And so, like, when the green light comes on, it's successful. We got that tied to the microcontroller, which tells it to unlock. And right now, the fail pin, all it does is uh, control that red LED. Like, future improvements could be, you know, send an email or uh, possibly we're thinking about put some kind of voice command on there that says, like, access denied. Or, yeah, in there. So here's these uh, buttons that you can uh, enroll and delete for the fingerprint. And this one over here actually lets you uh, change your IR code. So if you wanted to take another remote, all you have to do is push this one and we'll read it in and it'll turn it. So, and uh, this is the export that Seth uh, uses to control his web page and the Arduino. And then, yeah, it's just our circuit. Yeah.